In this video, I'll cover some more important stuff so that you can start creating renders. Okay, so let's get started with setting up a basic scene. Now let's add a forest floor texture to our terrain. Now that we have added the texture to the plane, we need to adjust a few things. First, we will decrease the scale and adjust the specular value. You can either just dial down the specular value, it will also work. But the way I like to do it is by taking roughness through a gradient map, then connecting it to specular. Our aim here is to make some parts of the material to be less reflective. For node preview, press Ctrl Shift T and move the black slider in the gradient node towards white. This will make the dark areas more darker. Lastly, increase the height a bit and we got out ground material ready. Now let's move on to environments and different ways we can light our scene. In daylight environment, we can change the color of sky and sunset, which can give us cool results. Now let's add an HDRI to see how it works in Octane. Add a texture environment connected to the world output, then drag and drop your file and connect it to the texture socket, then add a spherical projection node. Click on the plus icon in the spherical projection node and your HDRI setup is done. To get rid of the oversaturated look, change the gamma to 1. Now that we have covered the types of environment, let's quickly add a volumetric fog to our scene. Add a volume medium by clicking on the plus icon next to the medium option. Then change the color of absorption and scattering to white. Lower the density with volume and ray step length set to 12. Just below the medium tab, you can see the medium radius option. Higher the medium radius value, denser the fog. Now lastly, the most powerful node in this setup, we will just call it scatter direction node. Click on the plus icon next to the phase option and you're set. It basically determines where the scattering will take place. Higher the value means fog will scatter far away from the camera and vice versa. It can be really useful for creating renders like this. Every render requires different setting. So I'd suggest you to play around with these numbers till you get the right look. Let's say we want to add a rim light. Even if we hide it from the camera, we can still see the outline of the light source. And that can be an issue. The solution is pretty simple. Remove this volume medium and add a cube with specular material on it. Change the reflection to black with roughness set to zero and IOR to one. Then same thing with the volume medium node we just did in world setup, except here we don't have medium radius. So just increase the size of the cube to make it more dense. Now we have got the fog in the background without any interference or issues. Here are the node setup for both. Moving forward here, we have Octane Kernel. If you haven't set my blend file as startup file, just copy these settings. Max samples, just as it says number of samples you want to render in, nothing special here. For denoising, go to the Compositing tab and click on Use Nodes and add a Denoise node in between Render Layers and Composite. For some performance enhancement, head to the Octane server and click on Device Preferences, then check RTX Acceleration and use Priority Option. Next up, we have Out of Core Setting. Think of it as an emergency button. After your scene gets heavy and takes time to load Render Preview and other issues, just check this option. You'll get that extra boost. Default value is 4096. If you have 32 gigs of RAM, you can increase it to 6144. A little bonus tip, there's a way to mix two different environments and it's very easy. Let's say I want the lighting I did in planetary environment and in place of sky, I want a HDRI. Connect planetary environment to octane environment and HDRI to the visible output, then check the backplate option in the texture environment. You can inverse these settings by inner switching the nodes and this time checking the backplate option in planetary environment. And to get the reflection, check the reflection option in texture environment or we can say the HDRI. 